there is such an ironic parable. A kind young man walks through the Sahara Desert, loses track of the days, wears out his armor, and loses his armor. He holds his sword in his hand with his last ounce of strength. He would give a lot for a sip of spring water right now. And then, in the distance, he sees a lake. He rushes towards it, but at the shore sits the Zmei Gorenik. The young man starts to fight the beast, battling for a day, but manages to cut off only two heads. Then the weakened creature says, What do you actually want, young man? Water to drink, the young man replies. The dragon answers, Am I stopping you? Morel, don't exaggerate your fears, obstacles, and the number of adversaries. Many of them have nothing to do with us. Our dreams are just waiting to come true. You just need to start, roll up your sleeves, and get to work. The Jewish people, known for their wisdom, love to repeat the phrase, everything is relative. Some people pray daily for what you already have. Bread and water, health and respect, shelter and safety, work, love, children. Many authoritative figures say that they succeeded because they compared themselves not to peers, neighbors, and friends, but to those who achieved a lot at the same age. In my opinion, this advice is not always appropriate because there are many people who surpass us. You can't chase after everyone. In my youth, all my friends excelled in something. Some danced, some took foreign language courses, some traveled abroad. But all of this was thanks to the help and involvement of parents. I envied their lives desperately. I felt like I was in the shadows while they basked in the sunshine and enjoyed the variety of life with a big spoon. Then came a new stage of life when I had to make decisions on my own. How much you consume depended on how much you work. The guys who had spent a huge amount of effort and money lost their way and were not prepared for diligent work in solving adult problems. Sigmund Freud, a psychiatrist, gave this advice. Never compare yourself to anyone. You must steadily grow above yourself. Only this proves that your personality is developing. Doctor, my nose is stuffy. What are you saying, Kaimovich? I have a country house, an apartment, and a car all mortgaged, and here you are with your sniffles. Tell me, Kaim, should we wait long for things to get better? If you wait, then yes. Rabbi, have you already settled down? No, I'm still working. Many people believe that in life, you shouldn't think too much. You should work hard to accumulate a lot of money. Then you can solve any problems with a snap of your fingers. In his story, the gentleman from San Francisco, Ivan Bunin, shows and mocks this path. A wealthy man with a huge fortune decides to take a short break and goes on a cruise with his wife and daughter. The writer never mentions the man's name, emphasizing only his place of residence, which characterizes him as a wealthy person. And then this man unexpectedly passes away. His authority deflates instantly like a punctured balloon. The hotel staff place his body in the most modest room, wanting to get rid of him as soon as possible. Servitude and worship brought money, capital, but not the person. Jews say, life is short, but work is endless. This phrase makes one think about how much rest one should allow oneself to work better. How much money is needed for a comfortable life. Whether money has become an end in itself. Another barrier that prevents us from living the life we desire is the fear of failure. The fear of being misunderstood and ridiculed by society. But is it really as scary as it seems? Is it really important what others think? It's much more important to try, to attempt, to draw conclusions, and to gain experience, even if you're over 50, even if you're nearing 70. Jewish wisdom. It's not scary if they laugh at you. It's worse if they cry for you. And here are four witty sayings that will help you live simpler and easier. Don't get so nervous and kill yourself. You won't get paid for it. If you try to avoid all the unpleasantness, you might also miss out on all the pleasures. In this life, you have to pay for everything, but you should know how to bargain. Never complain about fate. Why? You'll upset friends, make enemies happy, and won't help yourself.